The answer lies here. Right? The answer doesn't lie in Washington where I'm based. Right? We're there doing policies, occasionally doing good, occasionally not doing that well, let's be honest. But here in the heartland, here in Indiana, is where the answer lies. And in fact, it's the partnership that exists in this room. We had the health commissioner here, so we had health represented from a state level. We have the attorney general here. I'll explain why lawyers are so important to our battle. But the attorney general sitting with health people. And then at the same time, we have all of you who in one facet or another are programmatically geared to undertake this battle. And it is a battle. Let's not pretend it is not. This is a fight. Most importantly, we also have young people in the room. I want everybody who's under the age of 18 to please stand up. OK, so here is the key. Right? I've been at this, wearing this uniform of the public health service for well over a quarter of a century. The rest of you have been involved in this public health ministry for X amount of time. But unless we all influence this generation, unless we all play a role in terms of being the examples, being the mentors, being the ones that share successes as well as failures. Everything I talk about in the next few minutes then is not achievable. So it's great having the youth of Indiana here. Every year, nearly a half million people are dying. Here in Indiana, 11,000 people. 11,000 Hoosiers die every year from tobacco-related diseases. That's in your community. That's in your state. That's one state of all the states and, and territories of the United States. It remains nationwide and in Indiana, the single largest cause of preventable disease and death. Right now, we're at 18% nationwide, around 45 million smokers. Three million of those are youth smokers. Indiana, as announced by the health commissioner now, is decreased from 26% to 22%. Yay! But you're still above the national average, which means I have to ask you to work harder. We have to work together with the Attorney General, with the Health Commissioner, with all of you. Because I want to see the Hoosier State. I want to see Indiana down below the national average and not wavering above it. Of the 20 million deaths since 1964, about 2.5 million people were non-smokers. What an incredible loss for all those years for us to continue that just because mom or dad smoke in the household, it's effect on that child. Because a coworker smoked next to you, it affected you. Two and a half million people who never touched a cigarette died from tobacco-related diseases. 100,000 babies affected in such a way. And the new finding that now we have a direct association between secondhand smoke and stroke. That's a brand new finding in the 50th anniversary report. 